Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this presentation I will give you an introduction to IoT, Internet of Things. So, this presentation is basically intended to provide you with the necessary background so you can have a general idea what is the IoT and uh, some of the concepts or the, the mo most used terms in, uh, in IoT applications. So, it's not really intended to provide you a full depth uh, explanation about all the possibilities of IoT. Okay, so, IoT is a network of physical objects or things that uh, we use in, in embedded electronics. They they're used to exchange data between them, so it's, it's, um, it's a way to interconnect these, these devices. It's, in general, we use them for machine-to-machine -machine communication, so they, there are different kind of uh, protocols using these kind of um, yeah. Uh, devices and we use them in applications like health, home automation, transportation, uh, wearables, smart cities and so on. Okay. So, uh, in a, a device can basically uh, lock and collect data and communicate with other devices. Okay, so it's the machine-to-machine -machine, uh, protocol. And we can use them also for analyze or visualize data or remotely act or control a specific device. Okay? So the number of devices that um, are connected to, to over internet uh, exceeded actually the, the world population in uh, 2008. So there are so many devices nowadays, so it's impressive how this uh, thing is growing. So uh, just simply for you to know that IoT was coined uh, in, uh, in 1999 and uh, basically the, the term uh, was originally known as a smart sensor but nowadays we call it uh, Internet of Things. But uh, in, both, in both cases what we, what we have is an embedded electronic device that can be connected to other devices through Ethernet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or whatever means and they are able to sense, operate, control a specific uh, variables of or process. So uh, this is a graph uh, with the number of devices connected to I, I Internet of Things, and it's obviously uh, growing exponentially. And, um, and here, this is just simply some of the statistics, so you can see the impact that the, this kind of technologies is having nowadays. And this is also uh, a statistic about uh, the market share. So depending on the application. So we have uh, mostly uh, health and industrial IoT applications, but also smart city applications, which are basically consuming the 75% of, of, of the market share. So uh, in IoT we have different kind of networks. Okay, so this is I don't want to go into much detail exactly uh, all the technical details behind that, but there's a term which we call it WLAN, uh, w -LAN, it's wireless LAN or WPAN, it's a personal area network too and these are the kind of local networks that we use to connect our devices, let's say through Bluetooth, uh, Zigbee or Wi-Fi and then we have also a WAN which is a, a more ex extensive a wide uh, area network in which we use Ethernet or also cellular networks too to transmit data. Okay, so all these things are generally connected into sub networks, and this is just simply for you to know that obviously um, how this is structured. So if we move into specific uh, kind of uh, communications that we use uh, on uh, in e Internet of Things applications, we have Ethernet. It's one of the basic ones. It's a wire infrastructure, so this could be costly if we need to uh, provide uh, wires around our, our home. And uh, it's based on uh, in the specification 802.3. And the nice thing is that it, it's fast and uh, it can reach really um, it, it can reach uh, high, uh, high transmission rates and uh, it's quite stable. So this is what usually connected to a LAN, so it's our local network in our home or a WAN, which is the wide uh, uh, area network. Uh, one spe special uh, characteristic of this um, the communication is uh, the power on Ethernet, so it's a special uh, wire in which the power is also supplied, so we can remotely power uh, specific devices. 
Then we have the Wi-Fi, which is based on the uh, specification 802.11 and there are many many kind of varieties within this specification. For instance, the, the N achieves up to 450 megabits per second. Uh, in general, in IoT, we require a balance between uh, the security, the power, the speed and the cost. So, uh, we have to uh, think about how much uh, speed we need and then, uh, for instance, which implication of the, the con power consumption this, this requires. Uh, basically, in IoT, we connect them in station mode or access point mode, but also there's another kind of connection which is called the ad, ad hoc. Okay? So the station mode, uh, basically the, what, what, uh, your device is acting as a client. So uh, it connects to a router and then this, this router can provide you the, the connection for, uh, for internet and so on. But in access point mode then your, your device acts basically as a router, so it's serving other clients, so they allow them uh, to connect to other, uh, other devices too. And then if we use Bluetooth, for instance, it's one of the most commonly um, uh, communications in, in uh, WPAM uh, 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 networks. It's very simple and specifically there's the classic Bluetooth and now we use the, the, the BLE, so it's the low energy, with, uh, which is uh, obviously much better than the classic Bluetooth. And just simply not, 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 I'm not really interested in to provide you, to, um, provide you too much details, but uh, for you to know, there's uh, what is called the GAT, it's a generic attribute profile, and this is a specification that basically um, regulates how attributes such as characteristics, service, and descriptors, how they work. And um, with these kind of operations, we can, for instance, discover devices, we can find services, um, we can read specific descriptors, descriptors or information on specific device and so on. And uh, then uh, we can, this is everything regulated, obviously, so for specific applications like healthcare, fitness, battery and so on, there are already existing uh, protocols or uh, messages uh, giving the full description of what messages should contain, but also we can create our own custom devices. For instance, uh, here we can find a, a well-known uh, device for providing Bluetooth connection for an Arduino, it's called the AT01. Then, uh, in, a, in a different uh, layer of the communication, which is called the transport protocol, is the TCP IP and UDP IP. These are two different kind of protocols. The TCP IP is how we split our, the whole message into small packages and how they are sent. And the TCP IP expects a response back, while the UDP just simply sends the message and it's not waiting for, for, a, for, a, for response. So UDP in general is much faster and uh, for instance is the, the, the kind of connection for in, in online gaming. And then in the, layer, in the application layer protocol, in IoT, what do we have is basically the most well-known protocols is the HTTP protocol and the MQTT protocol. They are different, so they have different kind of uh, architecture, so the HTTP has a request response architecture, while the MQTT has a publish and then uh, subscribe architecture. And uh, so, in IoT, my suggestion, depend what you have, uh, is the, depend on the, the kind of the amount of data you want to transmit, you can use one protocol or another one. So the HTTP you can transmit amounts, uh, 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 large data, and with the MQTT, uh, small data. So this is, for instance, uh, one of the common architectures we can find when we have a web server, which is using the HTTP control uh, protocol. Sorry to publish uh, HTML web pages, to upload files or to stream videos. And as I said before, it's using a, a request response architecture, so the client requests for, a, for let's say, for a web page and the server responds back with the data and then the client cl closes the connection. Just simply for you to know that within the HTTP we have different kind of methods so we can uh, communicate with the server with using different kind of request methods, okay? 
So, and then uh, what we have is in um, uh, what we call IoT platforms. They are specialized kind of servers that they are specialized for handling, store and monitoring our data from our IoT devices. And basically they work with different protocols obviously, but mostly with MQTT and HTTP protocols. So, there are different kind of uh, IoT cloud servers like Thingsboard, Ka, Thingbox, Google's Cloud's IoT platform and many, and many, many more. Okay? The kind of services that they provide is, as I said, data storage, data visualization. We can create a dashboard as you can see there in the figures. We can manage our devices, we can uh, set the kind of clients, customers we want, uh, rules management and so on. So, these kind of servers are specialized on these uh, this kind of things. So, well, in this presentation, I just simply, uh, as a summary, I have uh, made an introduction of Internet of Things. Thank you for your attention and I hope to see you on my next presentation.